Midday Kentucky cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen. And I've been talking about summer. It's right on the horizon, and the school's about to be out, and I just cannot wait just for fresh farm produce, just easy, simple, delicious meals that can come together in a very quick amount of time. And this one actually requires no heat cooking whatsoever, but is super filling and would be a great combination with like a piece of grilled fish or just a piece of um, you know grilled chicken tossed in it. And what I'm making today is kind of a Mexican street corn cucumber salad. If that doesn't sound good to you, then go ahead and just go to the kitchen, make yourself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and then come back. <laughs> but this is delicious, let me just tell you. So the first thing we're starting with is some fresh uh, corn. And I just took the corn and just cut it off the cob. So you just take it, hold the top, and then you just kind of slice straight down. Um, gonna pretend that we've done that already, but we have our fresh corn here in the bowl ready to go that I just cut off of the cob. In addition to that, we're going to add some uh, chopped cucumbers, and I love using um, just the English cucumbers because they don't have the seeds, but you know this time of year we're going to be getting into those fresh cucumbers, and all you need to do is just cut them lengthwise. You can use a little spoon, scoop out kind of the middle seeds, and then just dice them up and you're good to go. So uh, don't feel like you have to use these English cucumbers by any means. They're just a little easier uh, to work with. All right, so we've got the diced cucumbers. In addition to that, we're going to add some diced uh, red onion. Okay, I love onion. If you don't, just leave it out. You'll be fine without it if you're not an onion fan. All right, now the Mexican street corn part is this cotija cheese, which is just this salty kind of great crumbly cheese that's going to work in here with this salad. And <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't have this, then you could certainly use uh, Parmesan cheese in place of it. So, but if you can find it, it's usually at all the conventional grocery stores as well. But this Cotija cheese is just to die for, and it's really creamy and just the perfect consistency in this salad. All right. So, in addition to this, we're going to add a little bit of heat. Again, we're going with that Mexican street corn, so we can't forget chili powder. So, we're going to add a bit of the chili powder in here. Now, I like a little bit more spice, so I'm, I'm going to add a sea salt, and this is actually one we carry in the store. It is a Falk Salt brand, but it is a sea salt flake that you can actually crumble into the salad, and this is a chipotle flavor, so it has just a little bit more of that smoky kind of flavor. So um, if you're looking for a great sea salt, but you want to have like some different flavors, um, we have all different types of flavors, and these work really well. Now, in addition to the heat, we're going to throw in a can of diced green chilies. And then we're just going to add a simple vinaigrette of just lime juice and olive oil and kind of bring all of this together. So um, we'll start juicing our limes in here. And then we'll season with a little salt and pepper, stir all this together. And then the one final topping, and I always recommend adding your herbs or at least cilantro and basil towards the end so they don't wilt and they don't get super black. Uh, because as they sit and as you cut them, cilantro and basil in particular can start to really uh, kind of change colors and not be as pretty as far as the presentation. So we'll give this a stir. You can see all those colors and flavors working together. And then we are going to take our fresh cilantro and we'll just chop that up and that's kind of our final add-in uh, to this salad. So you've got all the flavors of Mexican street corn. You add in that crisp crunch from the cucumber, a little bit fresh lime, and then just drizzle with olive oil to kind of bring this all together into one salad. Even if you wanted, you could serve this on a bed of green. You could have it as like a vegetarian like lettuce cup or a lettuce wrap. There's a lot of different ways that you could take this. Uh, but this salad for sure is a winner and you'll enjoy all summer long. All right, you know where to find this? You can go to middaykentucky.com forward slash recipes. I'm Chef Allison Davis. We, you'll, <laughs> we'll be right back after this short break.